What is going on everyone? I hope you are all doing well. Today we have got a lot to talk about in regards to RX Vega and a lot of it centers around the pricing. In case you missed it yesterday, it was revealed that the launch prices that we were expecting for RX Vega of Vega 56 and Vega 64 were actually launch or introductory prices for those cards, which were initially announced at $399 for Vega 56 and $499 for Vega 64. Now, Vega 56 is actually not coming out until the end of the month, while Vega 64 came out on Monday. So that card is already available, or at least you can't really find them anymore, but they were available on launch day. And Vega 56 is going to be coming out at the end of the month, but the review units got moved up as well as the review date to the same day as Vega 64, which some people are theorizing is because they thought it would compete better with GTX 1070. But now looking at the pricing for this, it really doesn't seem like that it, should, it really should be compared against the GTX 1070, who has an MSRP of $379, while the reference RX Vega 56 is $499, which would put it more in line with a GTX 1080, and the 699 of Vega 64 would put it more in line with a 1080 Ti. And you know, in both of those scenarios, it would have AMD losing. So this doesn't really look too good right now, especially for consumers who were waiting for Vega cards to come out to really compete with 1070 and 1080 because the pricing is really competing with 1080 and 1080 Ti respectively for Vega 56 and Vega 64. I was, if you remember, I had actually told you guys I was going to be going up to Micro Center to pick one of these cards up, which I did. I went all the way up to Micro Center on Monday morning to get a Vega 64 card, only to find out that the store in Patterson, New Jersey, received no stock whatsoever of Vega 64. So I raced back home in order to order one of these cards only to find that every website out there was actually selling it for $600 for just the reference blower style card without the liquid cooler, without the bundle or anything like that. They were all selling for $600 and then they sold out pretty much immediately, which I really can't do anything about. Although I did have the $600 blower style card from Newegg in my shopping cart, which they removed as I was in the process of checking out, which is complete BS. Like, I don't know what Newegg is doing, but why don't you guys just put a timer on the cart? Like, if you put something in your cart that you know a lot of people are trying to buy at that time, maybe say, okay, you've now got five minutes to complete your transaction and put a little counter. I mean, they even do that on freaking Fandango. So I don't know why you can't do it when I'm trying to buy a, well, $600 graphics card now, which was originally told to us was going to be $499. So none of the reviewers actually knew this ahead of time, which is why everyone was reviewing it under the, you know, under the thought that it was going to be against the 1070 for Vega 56 and against the 1080 for Vega 64, because that is what the pricing was showing us. And I went through all of my press decks that I had from AMD regarding RX Vega and the one from uh, AMD Tech Day, which was at SIGGRAPH, which was under embargo until July 30th, 7 a.m. Pacific time. So no issues in all with showing you this, guys. This is all public information at this time. We could see the Radeon packs and we could see the air-cooled graphics cards only, which show it at $499 and $399 for Vega 64 and Vega 56. However, if you look right next to that, it shows SEP, which I am assuming is September. Like, is that does that mean September? So yeah, it shows it for September at $399 and $499. So that would kind of back up with what we are, have been hearing now from over on OC3D, of this being an early sale or introductory pricing for people looking to get these cards right away at launch, but the pricing is actually going to be coming up in the very near future for these cards. Although I guess a lot of the retailers out there didn't get that memo because they were selling them for $600 on launch day, which is complete BS. I've had to go back with my Vega 56 video and actually change the thumbnail. Initially, the thumbnail had read, who is the $399 king? Well, I've just changed it now to Vega 56 versus 1070. And I'm honestly considering going back and testing Vega 56 with the numbers I have now against my GTX 1080 because that is really the comparison we should be making here. Not against the GTX 1070, which is a full $100 less than Vega 56. So yeah, very disappointing to see this kind of tactic from AMD with the pricing. I'm not sure if it was 100%, you know, just, I, I don't know if there was a a miscommunication there or if they were just kind of withholding the truth. I mean, they never actually came out and said I don't believe, at least I couldn't find anything where they said it was an MSRP of $399 and that's what it was always going to be for Vega 56. It's more or less, it looks like they just kind of danced around that subject and just said, yeah, it's going to be $399 when it launches. 
but with no mention of the fact that it was actually going to come up after that, which would completely change, I believe, pretty much every reviewer's approach to this whole testing. I mean, many reviewers did Vega 56 against 1070, Paul's Hardware, Gamers Nexus, Bitwit, uh, Bitwit, Kyle from Bitwit did that as well. Um, probably other reviewers out there too were comparing those two cards against one another because that is where it seemed like it should be in terms of pricing. But now that doesn't appear to be the case. So I look forward to your guys' feedback on this one down below. I'm sure there will be a lot of strong opinions on both sides of the fence. So I do look forward to that discussion and interacting with all of you down in the comments. But I'm going to get out of here and, you know, try to... Goddamn trucks. Those trucks are always around here, man. I can't escape these trucks. They always just drive by when I'm in the middle of recording. But that's wrapping up the video anyway. As I said, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll try to get out some more content for you guys in the very near future. Testing again with uh, Vega 56. Maybe we'll do something with the GTX 1080 as well, as that is seeming like the more fair matchup, which really just kind of hurts me, honestly, because I picked up a GTX 1070 for this testing. I, I, it was $430 plus tax. I ended up spending $460. So that kind of sucked that I had to you know, pay out $460 for a 1070 to test against Vega 56, only to find out that I could have just tested it against my 1080 to begin with, because that's really the fair test we should have seen here between these two cards. So, And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like and all that. And subscribe if you're not already. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Ta-da.